so there were all, there were entrenched interests that opposed many of those reforms. So I mean, DeFi should be regulated. Uh, there's, there's no exception for any particular technology, and it needs to meet the same principles. Now, it's a different technology, and there may be specific diff- specific issues that need to be addressed, and those can be addressed uh, within the current uh, within the current regulatory system. I do believe. There is a gap right now, not so much on DeFi, but this area we were talking about legislatively with the uh, non-security commodity uh, uh, market, uh, like Bitcoin, uh, for example, that there is uh, for an exchange in the U.S. trading Bitcoin, there is no regulatory uh, oversight uh, on that. There's the CFTC's anti-fraud and anti-manipulation authority, but just a Bitcoin exchange, uh, spot market Bitcoin. Uh, there's not a, a regulatory agency in charge of that. So I believe that that's a gap. Well, just to be clear, Dan, we're not a federal regulatory agency, right? There are there are pretty comprehensive and, and extensive state regulatory uh, regimes that exist. You know, a lot, a lot of the, you know, we have spot, uh, you know, Bitcoin exchanges, for example, in this country that are very heavily regulated by New York State and other. They're regulated for, cert- for certain purposes, but we don't have, the same type of national regulatory system with market integrity, anti-manipulation,